What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have some potential news that this could be the bottom for Bitcoin. Yes, this is amazing news. Now, I'm not saying definitely it is the Bitcoin bottom. However, there are some very, very key similarities to this bottom, which we are in fact experiencing as the previous bottom before we hit new all-time highs. I'm going to be telling you that in today's video, guys. Of course, some Bitcoin price analysis. If you're looking to trade Bitcoin, you're looking for some key entry points, exactly as I called this falling wedge right here, this rising wedge, sorry, uh, breaking towards the downside right there. Exactly as I called that, I've got some new potential trade setups coming in today's video. So you definitely need to stay tuned. We are also going to be taking a look at the Ethereum price as well. Where is the Ethereum price going? Are we going to break above this resistance level at around $2,700 right there? What's happening for Ethereum? All will be revealed in today's video, guys. As always, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. If you haven't already dropped a like on today's video, then definitely do so as it really helps out the channel with the algorithm. Also, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a huge, massive warm welcome. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified about my upcoming videos. Without any further ado, guys, let's get headfirst into the charts and see exactly what is going on for Bitcoin. So exactly as I said in my previous video, guys, I was saying be very, very careful for this Bitcoin rising wedge right here because we are looking bearish. We actually had a nice a bearish break towards the downside. So a big congratulations to anyone who in fact traded this because you would have made around about 67% profit, which is absolutely amazing. Of course, guys, it doesn't matter if the price is going up, if the price is going down, we can make profits wherever it's going. If we are trading the breakout with confirmation or if we're trading the breakdown with confirmation. So that's that. On the four hourly chart, guys, let's have a look at Bitcoin and let's see where the price is going because we do have this kind of level of resistance right here, which really needs to be broken at around $38,000. Until we get above that level, we have no real chance of testing this key, key level of resistance, which is marked above. If we go onto the daily chart and have a look at this level of resistance, it's very prominent and we can see that we really, we have to get above it if we are gonna remain even at all bullish, guys. And I'll be telling you about why I think the Bitcoin bottom could potentially be in in just a few seconds after this. But let's take a look at this resistance here. Uh, we can see right here, it's between, it's roughly around about $40,000. So if Bitcoin gets above $40,000, we can start to feel a little bit more bullish exactly right there. The reason being for this, we have key support right there. We have key support right there. Again, we have support and resistance right there. Again, we have resistance right there. And again, we have a nice level of resistance right there. This is a lot, a lot of levels, guys. This is almost a year worth of trading for Bitcoin. We can see right here, January 9th, 2021. This is pretty much a full year of trading. And these are the major key resistance levels. One of the most important resistance levels for Bitcoin apart from the all-time highs right here and apart from this level right here at around 29k if we break that it's pretty much going to be doom and gloom for bitcoin but this is one of the most important levels so if we can break above that i think it's all going to be good and i think potentially it could be a great in fact trade once we do break that targeting the upside right there and by bit guys they actually have a new offer going on and this is completely crazy it's even bigger than the previous offer right now guys Bybit are having a mega bonus of four thousand $460 up to this amount, a deposit bonus. Not only that though, you get 30% off trading fees as well, which is completely crazy. When I trade quite a lot, I actually spend thousands or even tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars on fees probably over my lifetime. So 30% discount plus this 4.5, nearly 4.5K deposit bonus is insane. It literally takes a few seconds to get your bonus when you make your account and everything will be linked down below. We have Femex at $5,100 as well and Prime XBT with 25% off their trading fees. Everything will be linked down below with the tutorials, guys. And of course, we are hiring as well, which will be linked down below. So let's take a look at this uh, chart right here. First of all, guys, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me right here at CryptoJack. I'm really trying to push for 100K this year and I will do a crazy giveaway when we reach 100K. So definitely go ahead and follow me right there at CryptoJack, verified account. Let's take a look at this chart right here. And this is something very, very interesting. In fact, the chart may look extremely simple. However, we can see the top right here 
the the I believe this was a 20k top back in 2017 2018 and we see this level of upwards trending uh, level of support and resistance right there we see three bottoms one two three look what happened in the previous cycle we see one we see two we see three three bottoms and then we saw an amazing pump to the upside after the third bottom and this could potentially what be what's happening right now guys we have one bottom right there second bottom right there exactly the chart is almost almost identical not exactly identical but almost identical and after the third bottom we do see a massive pump towards the upside and i do think at some point in 2022 we could be seeing bitcoin breaking 100k so currently sitting right now at around thirty six thousand dollars, it's definitely not a bad dollar cost average entry point two three months ago if you would have seen bitcoin at sixty seven thousand, you would have said it's too expensive now what are you saying guys at 33 at 36 37k it's definitely not a bad price so yeah, that's definitely that, guys. And over on my Twitter, actually, I said uh, something. Let's find this tweet right here. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, this is the cool NFT project. And also, yeah, here's here the tweet is. Uh, Whether Bitcoin goes up or down, I don't care. I'm still buying. And that's simply because I dollar cost average into Bitcoin every single week. It doesn't matter what the price is. If we pumped, if we dumped, it does not matter. I buy a little bit of Bitcoin every week. And long term, this really does, in fact, help your overall portfolio. Let's take a look at Ethereum now. And Ethereum, it's looking like we could be having a little bit of a bounce on this level right here. We see a reasonable level of support right here. We can plot that on the chart. A reasonable level of support right there, which we have in fact bounced from. We bounce from it right there. We bounce from it right there. We bounce from it right there. And potentially now, or we are in fact bouncing from it right here. Where do I think we will um, go for this price target? Well, I'm not actually sure we will make a new higher high on Ethereum. It would be amazing if we do. However, it seems a little bit um, unrealistic that we're going to make a new higher high. If we were to make that higher high, it would be around 2750. And to make that higher high from this exact point would be around about another 10%. So if we are bullish on Bitcoin, as we know, Ethereum and other altcoins, they do follow a lot of the trends of Bitcoin in the direction Bitcoin's going. Of course, not always, but for most of the time, they do in fact follow that trend. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Ethereum. Let's take a look, a little bit of a look at the um, market, see exactly what's going on. Of course, we got Bitcoin 36K, Ethereum just below 2,500, BNB below 400. What's Solana? Solana at $92. Wow, guys, this is crazy. I actually just bought around $60,000 worth of Solana, um, I believe last week at $140. And back then I thought, yeah, it's an amazing deal. Now I'm seeing it 92. I'm going to try to buy another $50,000 of Solana if I can stretch to that. And uh, that should hopefully bring my average buying price to around $120, $125, which definitely isn't a bad buying price for Solana. I think we are going to see Solana at around about uh, $1,000 at some point soon. Uh, again, we got um, Terra down at $60, previously was 100 Cardano, sorry, Cardano, <laughs> Polkadot under uh, $20, which is nice. Matic, $1.65. Shiba right there is not bad price, actually, uh, for an entry point. However, um, if you'd like a full video on Shiba, let me know. I can make that for you guys tomorrow. Uh, what else have we got? Chainlink, $15. Uh, Uniswap, $10. Um, I want to see what Pancake is. I bet it's under $10. I'm guessing, um, let's just have a fun guess, $8. Okay, yeah, $7.34, definitely not a bad entry price. I actually sold a lot of my pancake swap at around about $12. If we look at the month to date or month, I sold around about here at around $12. Maybe it was here. It was a smidgen over $12. I sold a lot of it, probably 70 80%. And I'm going to wait just to see if we can get near to that $5 mark for pancake swap. I think that will be amazing. Um, however, this is going to be a little bit of a, yeah, maybe we could come, to, come down to around about 6 six fifty or 5 90 something like that. But $5 could be a little bit of a stretch. But nevertheless, there's still great yield on pancake swap around 60%. Try getting that in traditional finance. That's why DeFi is absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Again, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's a great place to stay in contact with me. Shoot me a tweet over there. I see it much easier than I do on like Instagram or YouTube or, or whatever it may be. It's a much better way to interact. Thanks so for watching. If I can speak correctly. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.